On April 1st, 2021, I ditched a career I absolutely hated to better myself and do the things I've always wanted to do. And that included my growing love and obsession with Ireland. I want to learn everything. Culture, history, mythology, music, and the language. Which, if I'm being honest, looks really hard to learn, but I'm going to give it the old Smith try. Then, of course, there is my love of pubs and the role that they've played throughout history, and no better example of that than on that beautiful, beleaguered island in the North Atlantic, Ireland. April 1st, 2026, I depart for the Emerald Isle, and for one year, I'll hike town by town and conduct interviews with pub owners, pub regulars, historians, town know-it-alls, musicians, and basically anybody that wants to talk to me. If you'd like to support the project and the journey, basic Patreon support is only three bucks a month, but just liking a video or subscribing to the channel and following the journey is just as helpful. I'm always looking for volunteers to work as liaisons for the project too, so if you live in Ireland and know people, feel free to hit me up. This is a huge goal and I need all the help I can get. The Smitty Learns Irish podcast begins April 26th and will be my life's work. Thank you. Uh, let's do another new song from a band I know I already fucking like, and that is Idols. I do believe I just uh, reposted a Patreon, former Patreon uh, live stream rea reaction to some uh, live stream that I'll try to remember to put uh, the link up here while the fucking, uh, uh, when I post it to that, uh, for Idols. Gift Horses is brand new, I do believe. Is it just a single or perhaps go to an album? Oh, looks like it is a single currently. I don't know if there's a new album on the way from Idols, but uh, just really fucking cool, exciting punk rock uh, that uh, I've liked every single time. So let's do it. Idols, Gift Horse. <laughs> That's fun. See, here's the thing. Uh, if you're watching this on the live stream, if you're not, uh, and just watching this particular reaction, then uh, I previously just reacted to, what the fuck was it? Uh, Amina Behavioral Health. And uh, the vocals were just too fucking extreme for me. It was just total like black metal or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> and I'm just like, I can't do that. You know, but I bet you there's some people that would compare those vocals to these vocals as off-putting as well you know what i mean i bet there's people that listen and go oh well what's the difference between like that and this Be i mean they're not screaming obviously like it's not if it's not something you would hear on the voice or something like that it's fucking cool punk rock man uh just y you can sing aggressively and with uh, uh grit or whatever in your voice uh while sounding like yourself without pushing it to the fucking limit, you know, uh, just sound like yourself, <laughs> just sound like yourself. And I know if you're screaming, you're still sounding like your fucking self, but it sounds like every fucking buddy else too, you know? <laughs> Fucking side note on that Amina reaction on the live stream too. McTang said on the live stream, he's like, hey, next, can you listen to a blender on fucking full speed? <laughs> uh, you know, sorry, but nailed it.
improved, though. Honestly, I say this all the fucking time, but it's true that I never, almost never gravitate towards the drums on first listens, especially. I'm obviously catching a beat and things, but it's the last thing I think of most of the time. But if you fucking just catch a, just the, the simplest fucking, uh, 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 just simple single drum beat, and you're just like, oh, <laughs> how fucking cool is that? It's weird. Back that up a little bit. It had fucking cool impact. That's fun and trippy. this is something that you can really only exclusively uh hear if you're listening with headphones i don't know if you can hear how fucking gnarly that bass was coming in but it just came in <laughs> Man, that was fucking song was pretty goddamn good, I got to say. Uh, and I just kind of realized, uh, heard the lyrical content just very quickly, just scanned through the lyrics as, as the song was ending and uh, seemed to be fairly uh, uh, politically, socially co uh, uh, content. In, uh, but I don't know if it was like a metaphor or fucking uh, literally or what not. Anyway, uh, I really fucking like that song. And I really like the Idols, man, so... Uh, I think we just need, I need to get, I think if I can get words out, I think I need to get back to that band. Back into the live stream, uh, December Lee's on fucking a, she's going to be doing it and we're bringing back the, uh, rock and roll round table album review podcast, uh, where I, I'm going to be taking so many albums from all of these album reactions and things and giving it to my friends. That's kind of the fucking idea, you know? Oh man, I fell in love with it. And you got to tell your friends about it. Hey, let's listen to a fucking album together. Is It's like one of the most beautiful fucking things, even though we're not doing an album reaction together. Uh, we're doing album reviews together. But we're going to play music on it, and we're going to fucking talk about the music, and it's going to be fucking fun. Michael Stevens as well, a uh, great friend, will be on that as well. What the hell? Everything! 